Hi, my name's Cody. Uh, sorry for the horrible lighting. I just got home from work, and I'm about 14 hours away from starting uh, the first small leg uh, of a journey that I discovered two years ago. Um, <clears throat> two years ago, I was uh, out in San Francisco, and I discovered something about myself that I I'd known about since I, as far back as I can remember, the big thing uh, about this is something I, I, I had talked to, uh, to family, like I, I can remember this thing being so major, yet, you know, education, um, details, and like all this other stuff just never, never came to light, so it was something that I never put two and two together. Um, until I got out there <clears throat> and I saw the the city for what it was, I experienced the people out there, I, I, I did everything I could um, to be a part of what was there, and something finally dawned. That big thing um, is a big thing to me, but it doesn't really change the people around me. Um, some of the people that have known me for years, it changes a little bit, but truly it's it's about me being happy, me being genuine to myself, uh, and that being being trans. Uh, I am beginning my journey from male to female. With that, um, in about 14 hours, uh, I'm actually getting uh, a laser to my face and my neck to start the process of getting a lot of this five o'clock shadow, which in this lighting, way, way more than uh, I expected, but that's that's where I'm started. You know, the it's it's a brilliant experience. I'm, I'm going to be trying to take everybody with me as much as I can. Um, you know, I don't know how much I'm going to upload. It'll probably be like a once a week, um, you know, weekly recap kind of kind of ordeal. I, I feel like that would be great. But I want to bring people along because there's so many people in my in my little world here that. You know, one of it, want to help, one of experience, but you know, I have no idea, and I'm still learning myself. You know, I, I remember back when I was, I was 16, and I was obsessed with uh, Transgeneration. Um, it was a documentary that followed, uh, I believe, two male to female and two female to male, uh, and they were like kind of different age gaps. I was obsessed. Um, and I, I think even even further back when I heard about people going through this uh, when I was I would have been about like six or seven um, I, I wanted to be a scientist so I could figure out how to make them more whole I, I had this goal where I wanted to create um, a, a machine or a, a medicine or something that changed them um, you know, either, you know, if they wanted to be more this or more that. And, you know, I think in today's day and age, that kind of thinking, you know, you can go a long way. Like, the, the acceptance for all of this is, is much higher than it was, say, 20 years ago. Um, you know, and I, I remember back uh, being, uh, my earliest memory uh, was around four years old um, when... I didn't feel quite right and that's kind of when this like fog kind of set in where I just I did I never felt okay I never felt quite right you know I I would lash out at people for calling me um, son and, and using those like, male pronouns um, and I, I never I never knew why and then two years ago it dawned on me that that's what was going on um, you know, I have uh, an amazing partner, Casey, that I've been with for almost 10 years, um, who, <clears throat> when I discovered that, I called her immediately, uh, and cried and let her know what was going on, and she was 100% okay with everything. She, she still loves me for me. I'm still me. I'm just living a happier life, and I will say in those two years, I've grown so much to accept myself, to, to understand myself, to understand what I'm doing, um, and it was a great time of acceptance. <clears throat>
in March 2018, um, I went uh, back home for a weekend to talk to my dad, um, the man who raised me. He's my he's technically my stepdad, but he's the man who raised me when I was as little as possible. Um, you know, he didn't say anything derogatory. He was extraordinarily accepting. And then the next day, I had my managers announce it to my entire um, coworker base and, and my job, which is about 130 or so people. Um, and then I announced it on Facebook at that exact moment. So the, the, the minute I knew that that announcement was finished and everyone knew, I posted it on Facebook. And um, to date, um, it being March, April, May, June, about four months since then, four-ish months, um, I, I've only had one person um, kind of who knows what's going on, who didn't, doesn't understand and is kind of flip-flopping with it, them being accepting and them not being accepting. And it's, it's a really strange conundrum to have because um, I don't know what side they sit on. But anyway, um, tomorrow, uh, I don't know how they'll feel about it. I, I don't know. I'm going to try to take everyone in with me um, and I'm going to try to talk through the process and we'll see what happens. Um, I am nervous. I'm excited. Um, the, the whole process is is crazy you know the 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 process of trying to find therapists trying to get you know gender markers and and everything changed especially living in Missouri which is kind of a, a gatekeeper state it's that Midwest mentality so it'll be interesting all right so I made it to Sorry about the noise, but current feelings. Uh, they put numbing cream all over my face. Uh, they shut the light off right over there, right above me, because um, it was starting to flicker. And so it was no longer, uh, I think the, the mold just needs to be replaced, I'm sure. Um, but no longer, it, it just it was flickering too much and they turned the air conditioner on. <sighs> This is, uh, this is quite something, but it is like super relaxing in here. Um, I'm probably gonna fall asleep. Just, just saying. So I just got out and my face is, and my neck are so angry, but uh, there's a lot that popped out. Once we get to the car, we'll talk about it. Alrighty, so, just got out um, there's still a lot of um, little hairs that popped off on my face sorry there's like big pillars that I'm trying not to hit I'm trying to be responsible um, there's a lot of little hairs that popped off my face um, I will say in general uh, it was quite like it wasn't painful, um, but it wasn't, like, su super comfy, uh, I will say. So, uh, the big thing for me was that, uh, once it got closer to my chin, where there's so much dense hair and dense hair growth, that, uh, it, it became not unbearable um it was just real hard real hard to concentrate on anything um and uh she you know she was talking to me and kind of making it really easy it was a really quick procedure um like I, I don't think I thought I didn't think it was going to be that quick 
uh, to tell you the truth. I thought it was going to be uh, one of those situations where, you know, there was going to be like, uh, it was like a hot needle. Um, and it got worse and worse the more dense the hair was. My neck, not so dense. Um, my cheeks, not dense at all. Parts of my upper lip are not that dense. And so it kind of uh, helped, you know, with that. But it was, it was my chin for sure that uh, was just, oh, it was terrible. It was so terrible. Um, she was extraordinarily nice, though. She took care of everything. Like, you know, there was a cooling gel that they put on it. I had a numbing, the, the numbing stuff on there for an hour um, to help me there. So there was a lot of really good that happened. Um, sorry if this is jiggling a lot. I'm trying out a different mount. I was hoping that my car was uh, glid glided um, was smooth enough for it so I'm gonna go home and wash my face and uh, we'll see what the what the damage was all right this is about five hours uh, I have to go to my other job so I don't really get the chance to rest <clears throat> but yeah it uh cleaned up fairly well. I hit it with a really soft loofah and a bunch of hair came off. We'll see what happens tomorrow when I shave. 24 hours later, it says, um, been, I've cleaned my face oh, three times yesterday, just like washing it with water to keep it kind of as clean as possible. Uh, and then I washed it this morning. I've got, um, sunscreen on right now because we're going to be going outside uh, and traveling to do some volunteer work. Um, we're helping out IMTUG, uh, the Metro Trans Umbrella Group. Um, we're going to be, uh, there's a bunch of people from my work who are going to be working on the outside. I'm going to work on the inside since I can't be outside because I can't uh, try to be out of the sun as much as possible. So we're going to do that. We're going to get food first though. Food is very important. And this this guy, this guy is very tired, Scotty. <laughs> and then we've got his best friend, the kitten, Doctor. She's very fluff. She has all the fluff, but she just really wants the ball. What are you doing? Alright, I'm in a basement. We have been organizing, cleaning uh, for Imtug. The place was kind of dusty. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been that way and they've been trying to keep it clean and stuff like that, but obviously over time things happen. As you can see, trying to clean everything. I don't have a before, but these two were kind of pushed together real bad in front of the power lead and they had their power station there, so they had to, we had to move those, move that over there, which we're waiting for an electrician to kind of hook something up for that. And clean up all of this, clean up that, organized this entire side. And just got it all nice and clean. Yay! Yeah, I, I'll just tell Sayer, hey, all you need to do is grab your little bag of mulch and then throw it right there and yeah, I wouldn't miss it. Yeah. This looks completely different to last time. I don't have pictures, but there was no bricks here last time, so it looks like they took the bricks that were kind of piled under there. Move them over here, which looks real nice. So, last time we were here, we took care of everything up here, remulched, got some new stuff planted over here. still in construction so they were actually just putting the planks on that looks like they uh, all the concrete's now setting 
which is real good. I planted this guy last time, which it looks like it's still doing okay. It's been about a month. All that's new. Uh, clean, tried to clean up as much as we could. Kind of looks like animal guy right there, but it's still growing, which is good. Then that just got replaced. There's a big bush here that was causing it to grow up. I think it damaged all that air there, so I had to completely come in and fix it. So we made it. We made it home. We're showered. It was, uh, I, I it wasn't that warm. I stayed mainly in the house. I can't be outside, um, because the amount of light and everything like that, um, <clears throat> they just said, hey, if you're going to be outside, SPF 30, you know, protect your face because with the laser, uh, I'm guessing you're just more prone to uh, like sunburns and things like that. <clears throat> so I, I, I did shave and you can see my, my chin is just kind of all sorts of angry. Um, I've been, I have, we have a cortisone, like, lotion for, like, healing, so that's good. Um, I hope you guys liked all the images <clears throat> that I po uh, put up, uh, from kind of, like, some of the stuff that I was able to grab, uh, from the Metro Trans Instagram, and some pictures that we had taken ourselves, uh, some video, so hopefully you guys like that. We're just kind of hanging out. There's not much else to do today except to rest. Uh, we might go to the store. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show off. This is kind of how the healing's going. You know, uh, I guess technically day two. Yesterday would have been day one of laser. Today is, this is kind of how it's healing. <laughs> there we go. So now you can see the everything's kind of angry. Um, I've washed it <clears throat> uh, twice today. So once when I woke up and uh, during my shower and when I shaved, uh, there was a ton of hair that did come out. So there's, I'm, I'm already noticing like, let me see if I can, like areas like right in here that um, don't have any like five o'clock shadow underneath. This area, not so much. Like, you can kind of see right there. Right there, and then, like, right up here. It's kind of got, like, a small little divot. So I'm starting to notice, within the first 24 hours, like, little tiny patches, and there's a lot to happen. So it's, like, 7 to 10 days before you start seeing results of what happened. So I'm not super worried right now. Everything is just kind of blotchy but i will say it is not growing as much i mean it did just get hit with a laser but not growing so much um i have my computer on it's updating i just fished this out so i can uh, have like a better scope so when i go out and record i can put this put it on this and make it a little easier because right now uh, i'm on a selfie stick which does work it's not a, nothing fancy i think it paid like four bucks so <laughs> we'll, we'll see there but i just wanted to keep you guys updated it's uh it's come along we made it to target i was gonna fall asleep but we finally made it to target you get a mega man in this one yeah yeah does it, does it say what your chances are no it doesn't doesn't sound like Mega Man. Um, neither does that one. I think this Chewbacca would be better if those were my kind of glasses. Right. Oops, I put milk in there. That's rude. It's, it's alright. It's fair. Life. Look at all these pop figures. They got baby Hercules now. Kingdom Hearts coming out. Go. Hey. Ooh. Oh, those glasses. Peach colored super glasses. No, that's a face. Wait, we 
kind of look the same. Oh no. Our chins match, even though he's got a beard. This is what happens, uh, it's what your face looks like right after laser. It's right there, that's what it looks like. That was super. One big reason to come to Target at the end of the night. Ain't no one her. You kind of get large sections of this place to yourself, don't, don't we? Huh? We come here late at night so we don't have to deal with anybody. Because this place closes at midnight. Love it though. Love us in Target. Alright. It's Thursday, July 26th. It's been one week uh, since I started laser. Um, I would say six days healing. Because uh, the first day you're really not healing. It's more of just like inflammation hell. But uh, this is a... Uh, this is what we're dealing with. It's significantly gotten better. Um, you know, I haven't recorded the last couple days because it hadn't changed much. The, <clears throat> it, it just, it, nothing had changed. Uh, but you can see here, like, the a lot of the redness, you can still see a little bit here. It's getting better. It's getting better, but a lot of the redness is gone. I'm starting to notice bigger chunks of area where, um, hair is it growing so that's great really really uh satisfied with that i uh you know it i hadn't like i said i hadn't really updated in the last couple days and i think that's what's going to happen with this first uh, couple videos that i produce because i i go on rants uh, and rambles and uh i noticed that i didn't want to make the video super long i also haven't been doing anything other than working so if I don't work, uh, I probably won't take you along. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> but in that sense, if I do anything fun or if I'm doing anything, I know tomorrow, if everything works out well, I'll be redoing my little video recording studio and adding uh, a few things to kind of make a more cohesive space so I can do more things and it's not all spread out and, and weird. So. I know that's gonna happen tomorrow. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with. Mainly, um, it's gonna be the, the transition and healing and self-discovery of, uh, of my journey. I mean, that's really what this is about. It's me just documenting my journey through uh, this ever-changing landscape of acceptance and bigotry, because there's gonna be more people. <laughs> um, there's always going to be people. I haven't discovered that many, thankfully. But they're going to be there. And uh, I might need some support from everyone. So, Or at least I'll need a space to, to tell everybody if something does happen. So I'm not repeating it over and over and over again. So, this is where I'm going to end uh, this week's video. I'm going to try to keep everything um, Thursday to Thursday when I'm recording. But everything will be uploaded the next day. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um... I'm also going to try to get back on top of my other channel that I ran for a little while, um, which <clears throat> some of the stuff that I reviewed for that channel still getting views. Like that channel is just kept is still going. Like I haven't uploaded anything new, um, but but I guess that's the the whole point of like reviewing things is more and more people are going to discover that product. But um, you know, like next month I'll start getting these back in. It's a manga spice is um, like one of my favorite boxes I get. I also have Tokyo Treat. I'm trying to change it up a bit, but uh, we'll talk about that later. You guys have a great day, and uh, catch you next week.